Who's your favorite foreign leader? Who's my favorite? Any, just name anywhere in the country, any one of the continents, any country. Name one foreign leader that you respect and look up to. Anybody. Mine was Shimon Peres. No, no, okay, I'm talking about living. Go ahead. <laughs> you got to do this anywhere, any continent. Canada, Mexico, Europe, over there, uh, Asia, South America, Africa, name a foreign leader that you respect. I guess I'm having an Aleppo moment in the former, former president of Mexico. But I'm giving Mexico. you the whole I world. Know, I know. Well, Ren Decay asked Libertarian Vice Presidential Candidate Bill Weld about this today. Pop quizzes on television are obviously not his forte, uh, but uh, depth of analysis and, and surprising lines of analysis are his forte. I, I think he just needs time to uh, expound uh, what he's thinking. So you don't think he didn't know the answer? He just doesn't do well in that pop quiz format? Right. That's an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> well, despite a few cringeworthy moments, the Libertarian ticket is having an impact on the race, especially with millennials. Randy Kay tonight looks at how. Uh, on November 9th, we're going to wake up to a world where Gary Johnson is president of the United States. <laughs> Former Massachusetts Governor Bill Weld trying to round up votes for millennials at Temple University in Philadelphia. Votes that polls show might otherwise go to Hillary Clinton more than Donald Trump. Does it concern you, though, that your ticket could tilt the election and, and hand him, hand well, Donald Trump the presidency? That, that's, you know, that's a conjecture. That's a hypothetical. And I don't worry about it. Hypotheticals. You know, Hypotheticals, perhaps, I but recent like polling from Bloomberg about really millennials gives now, Hillary Clinton just a four-point lead over Donald Trump in a four-way race. In that same poll, the Johnson-Weld ticket gets 11 percent of the vote. You don't have any concern or any fear that, that being in the race and staying in the race, that we might see another, you know, Nader, Bush, Gore situation. You, you mean, am I going to renounce my candidacy because uh, a bunch of people send me emails and, and leave me phone messages saying I should renounce my candidacy? No, that's not how I operate. Or because Weld dislike. considers Hillary Clinton a good friend. But when it comes to Donald Trump, he hardly minces words, calling him everything from a showman to delusional. Loose with the truth is, in a way, the one that troubles me the most. If you can't uh, rely on the word of the president of the United States, uh, then we're all in a lot of trouble. So what kind of president do you think Donald Trump might be? Oh, I think he'd be reckless. He'd be impossible to predict. Uh, you know, he like a broken clock, he would be right twice a day, but that's about it. Many of the millennials we spoke to at the rally are turned off by both Trump and Clinton. And they don't believe their vote is essentially a vote for Donald Trump. I think that's completely inaccurate. It's a vote for Gary Johnson. I'm going to vote for someone that I believe in. What don't you like about Hillary Clinton? Um, well, she's a liar. I think that's pretty well known. And the whole email scam was really concerning. How do you feel about Donald Trump? I think he's a terrible candidate, probably one of the worst we've ever seen. In the coming weeks, if it looks like a Trump victory is near, Bill Weld may have a big decision to make. Could you set the record straight and, and tell me whether or not you would consider dropping out before the election, uh, before Election Day, if it looks like your ticket could help hand Donald Trump a victory? I think it's doubtful. It's a hypothetical. Uh, let's see how the debates play out. You know, there, there's some water between here and there, and I've given my word uh, to a lot of people, including Gary Johnson, that we're going to uh, give this our best shot at running the table and taking the whole thing.